Welcome, Gemini Cancer, to your beginning of the month of December reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, Gemini Cancer, for the beginning of the month of December. Getting straight in there, we'll find your energy. This is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Beautiful Cancerian card. Okay. Cancer, uh, Cancer Pisces card also could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody could be coming back to offer apologies to you. Um, it looks like they're holding out their cup of love and apologies to you. That is exactly what it is. Or you are offering apologies to them. You have the wisdom and the knowledge. You know it's coming. <laughs> Plain and simple, you know it's coming. It's like I can feel it. It's coming. Um, there's like a higher learning going on over here. What? Because, you know, it's like they've learned their lesson and they're coming to apologize. Or they've already apologized. And you're like, I knew you'd learn a lesson from that. They wised up, right? Maybe that's what it is. You wised up. They wised up. And you know what they were supposed to do. Okay, getting straight into the situation. The situation is going to take place in the present, the near past, and the near future. And we have patience and planning. Emotional withdrawal is upside down. Suffering in silence is upside down. Triumph and success is upside down with obstacles and challenges upside down. So you have a lot of things that are going on around you. Um, the suffering in silence is... Um, I'm not suffering in silence anymore. I got up. I'm done. Um, either you or them. Clarifying on the suffering in silence in the past. This past would be in a, a week ago, an hour ago, two minutes before you watch this video. Um, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. It is a general reading. I do have two cards coming out here. Communication was trash. Um, I'm not talking to you. Um, you don't know how to communicate clearly with me and I'm ignoring you. Um, that could have been a King of Swords Aquarius. Um, that is an Aquarian card. They just done ghosted you. They're saying, I'm not talking to you anymore. I don't have anything else to say. I'm done. And they're pretty much done suffering in silence with this, whatever it is. If it's a boss, then the boss is done talking. He's not talking anymore. They're ignoring you. I feel like you're ghosted. Either that or they just completely put up a block wall and said, we're not talking about this anymore. Um, I don't believe that this is necessary to talk about anymore. It's, it feels to me like the King of Swords feels like this is old news. I don't want to talk about this. We've been talking about this for months on end, weeks on end, days on end, and I don't want to talk about it. Um, I want to move on from this. So I'm ignoring that conversation and I'm ignoring you, Hierophant Upside Down. Um, yeah, ignoring the the backsliding relationship, which causes it to backslide. So the relationship is turning on in, let's put it that way. Um, but yet, you know, and if it's not them that's doing that uh, Gemini uh, cancer, it could have been yourself. Maybe you're tired of talking to Taurus and you're like, you know what, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm done. Okay, so take it how it is. It could be, a little, you know, either or. So we have the patience and planning over here with the inference coming up. Could be definitely dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, another air sign as well. You're patiently planning and you're getting your nurturing done and you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing um, when it comes to work. This is work. Um, you're not allowing this person to... Oh my gosh, you guys, just pause for one second. I heard in my head, I'm not allowing you to steal my tools anymore. I, 
the dad didn't even have anything to do with this with the storyline but you know what spirit gives me that and i hear it and i'm telling you somebody just said i'm patiently planning and i'm nurturing and i'm watching and i'm paying attention and you're not stealing my tools anymore so whoever has tools stolen at work you're not going to deal with this anymore i'm watching you i just i seen that that uh you know where you put your hands next to your eyes as i'm watching you um I know it's you stealing my tools. Wow, that's just like out of the blue. You know, usually we have this little storyline, but I'm, that's for someone. So whoever is getting their tools, to, I, it could be a stapler, a hammer. I don't know. I, I'm really seeing like work tools, like construction tools. Like you're not stealing my tools anymore. Go get your own hammer. Something like that. It could even be a stapler off your desk, right? Somebody keeps stealing your stapler. I'm watching you. Go get your own stapler. Um, but... Yeah, you're not stealing your you're not stealing my tools anymore. Okay. I'll just leave it there. Otherwise, um <laughs> with the imprints over here, it's just your nurturing situation, but you're to almost to the point to where it's like they're escaping you and you innocent you just don't care <clears throat> you don't care it's like go hide in your corner go do what you want to do I'm working um, I'm working on my own stuff this has a lot to do with them and you going to work like I don't have time to listen to to you or for you to ignore me or block me when I ask you a question you don't want to tell me whatever it is I have my own responsibilities I have my own things that I have to do and it's almost like you're adjusting to them blocking you ignoring you and it's just like fine you know and that's fine because you know I have other choices that I have to do and other responsibilities I have to make You know, and some of you could even be parents and you're like, I have other responsibilities. I'll have time to watch you. It could even be a child. Look, it could be a child that's starting all of this, an older child, um, someone 18, 19, 20 for you guys, 17, who is causing problems. And you're like, you're not the only child in this house. I have other children to deal with and I don't have time for this. Okay. Queen of Swords coming up in beautiful Gemini, it's taking your ground, taking your stand, sitting there, authoritative, letting them know, this is what I'm doing. Same thing I just pretty much just said. I have other children, other things, responsibilities to do. I am not getting, you are not getting into my emotions. World upside down, you're taking an ending and separating yourself from this situation. Some of you could be married and you're just like, I don't have time for you, honey, right now. Okay, you're causing drama. I don't want to deal with um, yeah and you're separating yourself from that because you have way too many other responsibilities with money and work and family so yeah so the emotional withdrawal is like I'm not I'm not getting emotional I don't have to how are you gonna have time you're the queen of swords sitting over here in your own energy you don't have time for that and you're not giving any of that you're like I have prosperities and abundance and a family to run I don't have time to do this and for some of you, it's like someone is stealing my crap at work. And you know what? I have to go find this person. I'm watching you, okay? And I'm watching them too. So I have to watch you and this person steal my crap and, and do this and do that. And, you know, yeah, I've got a lot of responsibilities. I have not got time for you. So I feel like that's why you know sooner or later because you're being so stern about this that they're going to come and apologize. Either that or, like I said, they already have. Uh, we'll see. But you're having no emotional withdrawals. You're just like, into that. You're causing chaos. You're causing overwhelmingness. And I am not. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know if you're trying to get into my emotions, but it ain't working. Not today. I'm trying to bring that Cancerian emotion out and your Gemini is telling you, too busy. Not happening today. Yeah, they're negotiating, pushing, and maybe even manipulating a situation. Um, and you're letting it go, telling them, you keep trying to do these things, but I'm, yeah, I'm stopping you in your tracks. You're not going anywhere. The situation is going nowhere. You're getting nothing out of me. Don't even go there with me. 
strength card coming out. Yeah, you're just too strong for that right now. Too self-confident, too strong, too focused. Whoa, eight of pentacles coming out. Too focused. Triumph and success coming out over here upside down. You still have nothing. It's almost like the diamond has lost its luster and I'm not, you know, if anything, too, it's almost like, you know what, you're playing with a double-edged sword and um, if you continue to keep playing with a double-edged sword, you're going to see me cold, stiff, and mean. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, if you want to piss me off, let's keep playing um, because that's almost where it's getting now. It's like I've shown you this is what we're going to do. You were very firm about it, you know. And now all of a sudden it's getting to the point where it's like it's upside down. Do you want to play swords? I don't think you want to play swords with me because I'm pretty sure when I'm upside down, I'm going to win. Um, so, yeah, this sword has a double-edged sword. And it's almost to the point where they're, you're losing patience. Let's put it that way. You've lost your patience. You see the end of this. I want the end of this. There is no more of this. It has been going on for a month and a half. Take it how it resonates. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. I'm not playing. You're not playing with my heart. Somebody's playing with your heart. Okay. You don't play with a Gemini's heart. That's, you're just going to get sorted. Yeah. You're playing with my heart and I don't have time for that. You want to play with my heart? Yeah. You're not going to like the sword I give you. So they want to play with your heart and you're pretty much telling them, um, I realize what you're doing. And we're not, this is, I'm taking an end to this. Yeah, this is, this is done. Yeah, this is totally done. See, because they don't even have you stuck. See, because you have no emotional withdrawal. If anything, now they're just pissing you off. See, there is, there's a difference between getting inside your emotions and getting inside your mind to, to where you're going to get mad. Um, and that's really what it feels like. Like they're trying to get you stuck. You could be dealing with a Pisces and they feel like you're, you know, and there's Pisces here as well. And maybe they're trying to keep you stuck and you're like, you are never getting me like this. Maybe they had had you like this once before in the past and you're like too tough to do that anymore. It'll never happen. And for some of you, it's like, it will never happen. Just period. You've never had me that way and it'll never happen. I am moving forward the way I want to move forward because I know who I am. But you want to keep confusing a situation and trying to confuse me. You're going to lose. So that's really how I feel in this situation. Sorry, I'm really feeling you guys' emotion on this one. Um, that's what happens. <laughs> I feel emotions. So, and I'm really feeling whoever's emotion this is, is like, you're not taking me down. You're not, you know, getting me here. I have things to do. Um, and so, yeah, here's the obstacles and challenges. And it's pretty much saying, you know, hey, you're trying to give me obstacles and challenges. You're trying to confuse me. I have other things to do. I feel like you're multitasking even with the seven of cups. And it's like, I, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And you want to play head games. I don't have time for this. Head games, heart games, all these games. I don't have time. I don't have time for your obstacles and challenges. No, see, I have, I am the queen of pinnacles. I have work to do. I'm nurturing a whole family. I'm nurturing people at work. I'm nurturing myself. I'm going after the things that I want. Um, and this is it. That's it. You, it's nice though. It's nice. You didn't come out this way. Um, you came out cold shouldering, but you didn't give me, you know, I don't have another queen, you know, of, of swords. So are you, you're cold shouldering them. So are you icy cold as well? You know, we're going to say probably <laughs> because you and Aquarius both get the very ice cold, um, almost Almost all air signs do. Libra's a little bit different. Um, but uh, they do malicious things sometimes, you guys. They're a little bit different. But uh, anyways, moving on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you're going into this hermit mode, and we can only imagine you're becoming a little ice cold because, yeah, I see the intolerance over here. So... Definitely, we're going to say it's going to become icy cold as the ice queen. Um, and yeah, you're definitely, you know what? You want to ghost me over here and act like this over here. 
Um, guess what? Now you want to come back and do this? Oh, guess who's getting ghosted now? Ooh, hello. Oh, well. For some of you, was, were they looking for the grass to be greener on the other side, or are they just believing that in the near future the grass was going to be greener on your side, and you're telling them, um, no, see, because the grass was going to be greener this time around, except for you still want to play head games, mind games, and all these games, and try to confuse me. So your grass has just become very yellow. Um, because with the grass being greener, it doesn't mean automatically they have to be going to somebody else's pasture. I think they were trying to make it greener in their own pasture, but because of all these games that they're playing and confusion, they just made their own pasture yellow with you. So... I don't know what this person's intent is. Like I said, for a lot of them, it actually feels like it's, it's either a person who's very immature or it's someone's kid um, causing problems. Knight of Swords coming rushing in, understanding that there is a dark cloud. Watching the red lines, uh, red flags, excuse me, with this person could definitely be kids. Four of Pentacles holding tight and telling them, no, you're not getting this, you're not getting that, you're not borrowing my car, you're not going to the ATM machine, I'm not your ATM machine. And they just continue with this toxic behavior. Why? I just... Telling you, this is somebody's... And you really want them to offer you an apology, and I still feel like somewhere down the road, will this person offer an apology? Because you're waiting. You're waiting for them. You're waiting for them to come and say, I'm sorry that I did this. I'm sorry that I wasn't listening and that I wasn't learning. I don't know. That's what you really want from them. I don't see it happening anytime soon. It's not in this reading. I didn't see anywhere in here where there's another... Um, cause you know, then we would have had the Knight of Cups at least because the Knight of Cups would be your other, your other apologetic person. I don't see it. I don't see them coming to do that. I know that's what you want, but it's not happening. Not yet. It's because they're still too busy not being good. Listen to your own intuition. You know what's going on. There is a little bit of a compromise, and I do see that. Like, you could compromise with this person, and I see it right here. But then over here, it's almost like they take you for granted again. You do need to communicate clearly, but I see that over here, too, with the Queen of Swords. Keep communicating and standing your ground to make them understand what is going on. Because, yeah, if this is a loved one, let's get a... Angel romance card. I don't wait, angel romance cards we can use for anybody. There is attraction still left between the two of you. For some of them, it says release the X because they're not going to change. Because you deserve true love. And then for others of you, it's make an effort. Some of you might have a honeymoon coming up pretty soon. Or you just got married. Is that what you're patiently planning on is getting married? Oh. And then you're having this snippet. Heart to heart conversations that's to communicate clearly. Could even be, like I said, three people. It could be that this child is causing you and this other person um, this other could be Taurus to have, we'll just say a Pisces child is, is making problems between you and a Taurus, um, partner, maybe someone that you're getting ready to get married and maybe they're not happy with the situation. Um, and they're causing a lot of upset because they don't want you with this person or they don't like them or they're jealous of them because of the devil coming out in the honeymoon is starting to make me feel like for someone out there, this child does not want you with this other person. Um, maybe they're used to not having a dad or a mom and it's making them not feel um, 
they don't like it. Just period. Period. End of statement. They do not like it. And it, it's weird because it doesn't mean that they don't like the person that you're with. They just don't like the idea of having a, you know, somebody else in the house, somebody else around, someone they might have to call stepmom or dad, um, something like this. So whoever that's for, that's the reason why your child is acting up, if that is the case. And they're trying to use wisdom and they don't know how. So all they can do is act out. That's for someone. I am going to bring that up, though. Because I think somebody out there does need to learn that that message because I really do feel that that was a big one that only came out as soon as I seen these cards. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.